We are in uh, Anna Petralina. Some people also know this area as Filopapu because of the Filopapu monument. It's a very vibrant neighborhood. There's really no cars here, so streets are small. Everybody's comfortable walking to the rest of the town. There was a rule for this area that buildings would not exceed three floors height in order to not block the view of the Acropolis. This area is one of the areas in Athens that kept most of its old uh, original buildings intact. That's why it has this magic uh, feel to it. The colors are colors that are used in neoclassical buildings. Um, I think my favorite part is the courtyard and the kitchen and the in and out. You feel like you could be in an island, let's say. It's very unusual in Athens to have a blue color on your facade, but we wanted to reference the islands. These tiles we used are pool tiles taken from an old factory that was closing with the crisis. All the windows to the street are windows from uh, older houses, neoclassical and other houses. Also all the doors of the bathrooms we found in the streets in Petralona. It's been fun because the house was built like a model, like a toy. This house is one of the best uh, house ever made by Andonakakis, custom made for my parents. Well, this house means a lot to, to me because it's a house I really love. The thing that makes this house special is the neighborhood because it's a very calm neighborhood and uh, we are all in very good terms around the neighborhood here. You need to have the same experience throughout the house. Even in the bathroom we have the same tiles. We don't differentiate between bedrooms and living spaces. Obviously I love the roof. We decided since we spend more time in the evening there, we prefer not to enclose the opening to the sky. It's better to just have an open sky. It's very nice to look at the stars and we have a sea view from up there. Mm -hmm.